Hi everyone, merhaba. This is Ayşe Nur Altan. Welcome to Turkish Food and Travel. As you can see, we are making one of the well-known street food of Turkey, simit. Simit is a, a bread in ring shape. It is coated with sesame. Commonly found in the streets of Turkey. Everywhere you can find it's like a bagel to United States, I can say. The best company would be tea or iron yogurt drink and of course if you want to have a rich company to go with the simit some uh, cucumbers tomatoes green peppers uh, olives cheese and it's ready to enjoy so let's begin here are my ingredients 550 grams of flour one cup plus fourth of a cup water a one teaspoon dry yeast one teaspoon sugar, two teaspoon salt, and one tablespoon olive oil. I'm gonna add the sugar here and one teaspoon leveled yeast, one tablespoon or two teaspoon oil. And I'm gonna use uh, most of the flour, just going to leave about 50 grams. Let me leave half cup here, add the rest. And to that, two teaspoons salt. I'm gonna add the salt over the flour, so it doesn't touch to the yeast. Let's give it a nice mix and then knead until it's a nice a smooth and sticky dough. Flour looks enough so I'm not gonna add the rest half cup and going to continue to knead for about 30 seconds or one minute, not more. It is ready, just barely sticking. Let's turn it into a bowl. I'm gonna cut it into seven. You can also scale it. It should be 120 grams. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. So I'm gonna continue it like this. I'm gonna turn them into bowl and then uh, slightly just make it a lock. Like so. And then cover and rest it. Okay, um, I did two batches. The first one is ready. I wanted to double it because I can freeze it and use them later. As you can see, they are soft now. I'm not gonna use any flour. Just going to roll it out, uh, beginning from the center. Don't uh, touch to this part. This needs to be thicker here we go and then fold it 
like so and twist a little bit and not too much just give it a, a press slightly okay and then you see these two are uh, thicker what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it like so put them together in this this one inside the thicker side and then press it let's do one more I'm not touching to the sides, they're gonna be thick. Twist and then press it together with your fingers slightly and uh, keep these two thick parts open. Make a ring, put this one inside the, these two parts and then press it and it's ready uh, it's gonna rest and then we're gonna uh, open up a little bit more don't try to open it too much let them rest again and continue with the others Okay, I have shaped my cement. Uh, I'm gonna uh, make the coating now. I have fourth of a cup water here. Going to add about two uh, tablespoon grape molasses. The ratio is one part molasses, two parts water. Let's give it a mix. This is the uh, first coating and for the second one are rested they are rising a little bit and soft my oven is heating to 180 celsius degree and i'm going to bake them until it is nice golden color uh, for about 30 minutes and here on the side my daughter is cutting the green peppers we have we're gonna keep them in the freezer these are very sweet and uh, flavorful very good for menemen and all the dishes and It's so crunchy, I hope you can't
it is still crispy yes I'm just gonna get piece of it with some cheese and olives it's really good my friends I mean like 90% same in the streets and it is better from some of them because it is still fresh and uh, warm. I hope you give it a try and let me know. Share your photos with me from my Instagram account Turkish Food and Travel. Stay tuned for more vlogs and uh, travel episodes from the Black Sea region. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Bye.